This is a Mangshan Viper, uh, Protobothrops Mangshanensis, and it is endemic to one province in China, I believe it's Hubei province. Uh, this snake is only found in about a 60 square kilometer area in the Mangshan Mountains area. The Chinese have said that they think that this snake is rarer than the giant panda even in numbers. That, personally, I really don't believe because the area they live is limestone karst and it would be very hard to assess numbers of any kind of a snake or a fossorial uh, creature, you know, in that type of a habitat. But certainly they're not common uh, simply because they have a very small range. This snake is fairly new to science. It was only discovered, I think, in 1990 or 1991. Uh, the local people in the Mangshan area, of course, have known of its existence for years. The common name for it is Iron Head, and sometimes it's called the Little Green Dragon. Uh, it was discovered in the outside world by telephone workers and electric line workers that were going through the mainland, uh, Mangshan Mountains, putting up lines. And they discovered this huge green pit viper coiled around eggs that happened to be hatching at the time. So there were several of the animals that were made known to science through that method and it at first was named Zyermia after the famous uh, herpetologist from China, uh, Zyermia mangshanensis, and then later on they changed the genus to Protobothrops like many of the others. Uh, currently there is no anti-venom for this snake although the venom is relatively weak although since they get <coughs> considerably over two meters in length on a very large one. Uh, they have an awful lot of venom, so it doesn't have to be really strong. But they are still potentially very dangerous animals. The venom is uh, very much like Protobothrops mucroscumata. This particular pit viper, one of the largest pit vipers in the world, is relatively new to science. Uh, it was only discovered and described uh, about uh, around the year 1990 or 1991. And it was accidentally, it was, of course it was known by the people living in that area, it was known, they were well aware that the snake existed. But to the outside world, nobody knew anything about this snake. And it was discovered by some uh, workers stringing uh, telephone wires and electrical wires through the Mangshan Mountains. And they found a very large pit viper coiled around a clutch of eggs that were hatching. And that's how the Mangshan viper was reported to the outside world and eventually how uh, the outside world discovered it. Um, this snake lives in a very restricted range, uh, only about 60 square miles, and uh, the animals are here because we hope that we're going to be able to breed them. We maintain about 20 or 25 of them here, and uh, next year will be our first year having animals that are old and large enough to actually breed in captivity.